You could have gone. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Carl. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, please do yell at me. It's fine. Um, I am here to talk about doing more with less because we should be doing more with less. It's it's fine. Um, and this is my first time doing it at night, so my timing is going to be off. So let's talk about software development. Um, to me, software development feels less about solving problems and instead craggling a bunch of Duplo blocks together and hoping that it's all going to work out and that the craggle isn't actually made out of Play-Doh. And it's kind of annoying because then we go and package that software. And of course, the only way to package software is something like Docker. And that's, it's, 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 it's fine. Like, it's, it's not a big deal. Like, we started with packages, and then we had curl bash, and now we have this, and each one is more resource intensive and takes more time and is worse. And then we deploy it on Docker, which is super simple until you get to production. Thank you, Michael Ducey, for the greatest tweet of our time. Um, that thing gets, oh, it's fantastic. Um, let's talk about web apps. Mine's currently loading, um, because that's what they do. Uh, I imagine React will respond at some point and then we will actually be able to see the rest of this slide, or not, because that's how React works. So let's talk about native apps. Everybody's like, you know, JavaScript. That's what we should be doing, because, you know, JavaScript is awesome, and it's going to outlive everyone, and computers have hella RAM now. And with these new 18-core iMacs, you can run two. But the problem with having hella RAM is that hella RAM is stupid expensive right now. Have you been to the store? I had to buy 16 gig of RAM last night. It was $300, and I'm not kidding. Like, it's ridiculous. We have all these massive frameworks. They're supposed to give us interoperability and all these wonderful features. What, why, why does everything only work in Chrome? Why is Chrome the new IE6? I want to know why Chrome is the new IE6. Let's talk about the digital divide. This is an actual map of how dense bandwidth is in the United States by congressional district, and it is broken. The ones that are dark blue have greater than 25 megabits a second. Why are we designing everything to be streaming all of the time? It's not Netflix and chill. It's Netflix or chill for most people. Let's talk about supercomputers. These are supercomputers. You have one in your pocket. The reason is because we have never redefined what a supercomputer is. But people are like, that, Carl, that's expensive. This is a supercomputer. That one's not to scale. This one is. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi 3 bucks. This is 35 bucks. It's a supercomputer. You can put it on your desk and do things with it. And you should, because otherwise, you're doing this. So on the left is the old way, and the right is the new way. Uh, the important thing to note about Lambda is the formula of how much Lambda costs. Please note, you don't control any of the variables. You think you do, but you don't. How did we get here? Like, this is Larry Ellison's network computer. We fundamentally rejected this in the 90s as dumb. But this is what we have now. Wh what? How? I don't understand. Like, this, this is why we have this now. Because in the 90s, the Pentium processor arrived with Windows 95. Because everything runs at root, you sometimes get 32-bit processor capabilities, and security is the cancel button. Oh, it's great, but there was something else in the 90s, and that was this. This is an Amiga 1200. This thing was amazing. Everything that you wanted to do on that Pentium box, you could do on this with the equivalent of a 386 processor. What happened? Because modern computers is amazing, and we should be taking advantage of that. Web pages, the Yahoo homepage loads at the same speed on my cable modem now as it did on my 14.4 modem in 1997. How did this go wrong? Where did we go from this? Sure, we can use containers, but let's not use them as micro VMs. Like, your container should actually contain the thing that you want to deploy, not a single Go binary and all of Ubuntu. That's dumb. Why aren't we using these as your development servers? People go, oh, Carl, that's slow. Yes, if your app is fast on this, imagine what it's going to do on a machine with 256 gig of RAM and 96 cores. It's going to be amazing. We have to fix this. We're the only ones who can make this better. I talk to people all the time. They're like, don't let your kids go into IT. I was like, no, no, we have to fix IT. I don't want our kids dealing with the problems we have now. We have to do more with less. Thank you.